Wildcat when it was being built, and they asked me to stay on that winter. To, we weren't quite done. We had to cement the, the bottoms, the very bottom of the towers, uh -huh. the steel towers. We had to grout them all in. So I stayed on part of the winter on that. And then, uh, this is before anything was open. Oh no, it oh, was they open. Were, they were open. They were open, but this still had to be done. It oh. wasn't uh, the one uh, bad situation. It just had to be done. Yeah. And then I stayed on for Wildcat for that winter in the ski area. Well, I happened to be running a machine in the parking lot, which was quite a ways away. And the help all had to pack over in the packing lot. Well, it was quite a ways, and we had a hell of a snowstorm. <laughs> and so my boss said, well, why don't you transport them back, bring them over from the parking lot. So I went over. She was one of my riders. And <laughs> when, she went to, uh, when, when she went to get off, I said, jump off. Oh, I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> you know, I had my arms out and grabbed her when she jumped. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my heavens. <clears throat> so eventually you began doing things like repairing people's driveways as you did for us yeah. and working for the working for the community forest. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Working for White Mountain Lumber. Uh -huh. Which I, I worked for them for thirty five years. Oh I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I used to I used to be a worker. <laughs> I worked my regular job nine, ten hours a day for him and my side jobs were my side jobs that was Nights and weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tried to make ends meet. That's all. That's the way we got along. Mm -hmm. It must have been difficult in the winter. No, not too bad. Not he, no, not too bad. Randolph used to be damn good. They used to. Uh, they used to plow all our driveways. And you you never had that experience because no, you were our, only a summer person. Yeah, I was, our our house is not winterized. And well, we all have, the uh, and we have no water. Um, all the year-round residents in town got their driveways plowed, mm -hmm. which was one hell of a good thing for mm -hmm. us. Easy, and still our taxes were quite quite low. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I thought they were high, but <laughs> no, according to other towns yeah. around us, mm. where uh, we still can't kick. Mm. And one of the things we're talking about is how how Randolph has changed in the last fifty. Oh, in the geez. last 50 years, and I wonder if you have any comments about what, is, what has gone on, what has changed in the town, how it has changed your lives at all, or if at all, and uh, uh, anything you might care to contribute. Well, I, I usually bitch about the roads because that's something I've got a little bit of knowledge on, <laughs> and uh, road agents always used to be elected, mm. but it was kind of bad. It was only a one-year term. You know, a guy couldn't buy a truck to say, well, I'm going to plow, because you didn't know from one year to the next if he was going to have the job. And, oh, Mabel Richardson was quite active in Concord legislature at the time and she got the limit, uh, time limit changed so 
so that they could be a three-year term instead mm -hmm. of one year, which made it better in some ways. And then that kind of got abused a little bit by the various road, various road people. And so the town voted to go with the town selectmen appointing. Therefore, they have a little bit more control over the road agent. Mm -hmm. And that was fine for quite a few years, but then that kind of gets a little bit bad too, because you had people in there that knew computers, they knew a lot of stuff, but actual road work, they didn't, not too much knowledge on it. Mm -hmm. So our roads kind of went into disrepair, and, and they are still in disrepair right now. Oh, at least so. they took that one terrible bump out just beyond her. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's two or three down the road. I'm yeah. sure Sarah hits them when she goes home. <laughs> <coughs> I've got a pickup truck that's a, it's a good truck, but it's a very rough riding truck. If you want to know how rough this road is, I'll take you for a ride down through. <laughs> it's very rough. Yeah. They could do some minor repairs, which the selectmen, I just can't seem to get it together what to do. Mm -hmm. But they're going to redo this Durham Road someday. And I hope it has some supervision when they rebuild it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to remember what it was like when it was Route 2. I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm old enough. Yeah. I'm a little bit older than you are, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was, I remember the lumber trucks coming along it, although they were much smaller trucks. Oh, yeah. But uh, it was. It was a terrible road to It was home. a terrible road, yeah. Rough and you always were breaking springs mm. on this stretch of road. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the town forest and what it has what it has done to the I think it's been a pretty good thing for the town. I don't know if it should grow much more. Mm -hmm. It's from what I understand, we're the largest town forest this side of the, what, Mississippi or something. Mm -hmm. Is that is that right? I'm not sure. I don't know. I, it's uh, no, it's quite a large tract of land for a town. The only little drawback is it takes taxes away from the town, but it also protects the town too. Yeah. You know the way. Town forest is part of it. They can only get through is going to Six Gun City and up into yep. Clown Safety. Well, yep. if a developer had gotten a hold of that piece of land, geez, you know, we might have had to have roads, town Randolph Town roads in Jefferson, and they got to be maintained and plowed in the winter. You know, it would have been a divided town. Yeah by what, four or five miles. And yeah. It would have been uh, a little hardship on the town, if, I think. And I mean, I know that Fuller is now doing the, that very complicated uh, sugaring operation and all the stuff and is that working out well or do you um, know? I think it's that was a hell of a good move for the town mm -hmm. to lease that part of the whatever part he's 
-hmm. leasing. And I understand he wants to get a little bigger. Mm -hmm. So, geez, you know, that to me is a hell of a good income for the yeah. town forest. Yeah. And really not much of any expense to the town. Yeah, that's, and they also return some money to the town. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the forest does, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, no, I think it's, uh, I think that's going to work out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. I, I know a lot of people were skeptical of it when it was being yeah. planned and thought it was going to cost the town money, but. Well, they, uh, they cut quite a lot of timber at first, so they get their funds built up. Yeah. So that they could somewhat maintain their roads. I don't think they're excellent on the maintenance of the roads because that road up into Pond Safety the last time I went was pretty rough. And yeah, it's been pretty bad. Yeah, well, they could, I would think, especially that one, mm -hmm. because that, that one there kind of joins in with the White Mountain National Forest on the, on yep. the back end of yep. it. And I don't know if they've spent a heck of a lot of money either, but Pond Safety's visited quite a bit, I understand. Mm -hmm. And it's a, quite a snow machine country up in there in the winters. Yeah. Oh, I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, the whole thing, I think it's working out pretty well. You know, they have, they've got different foresters now that look after it. I can't remember their name. No, I can't either. But, but uh, Walt was great. Walt, Walt was very good. Walt was... Uh, I really good. admired him that he didn't use an ATV to go around or anything like no, that. He no, walked he and walked and, and walked and walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he loved that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was his life. Yeah. You know? yeah. He did the town a good job, and I guess these guys knew people. It's a timber company, I believe. But uh, they're doing a, I don't know, I haven't heard any complaints from uh, that's, the leaders. Yeah, that's there. great. What do you think about, or how, has the change in the population has this affected you people at all? I'm just th I'm just thinking we've gone from having people who are year round and uh, then we've added a lot of retirees and young people are not finding for the most part very good jobs locally and they're if they you know, they go to college and they have other yeah. expectations. Um, there's, a, there's a few in town that work out of uh, their homes with computers, so. Yeah. And, no, I, population hasn't really affected me. Mm. I think it's good to have a little growth in town. Yeah. Have some kids around to carry on the <laughs> traditions here. Yeah. There. Uh, there seem to be fewer children at the moment. Maybe. Oh yes, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. She used to drive bus. Ah. Yeah. Judy used to drive bus, and what is it, twelve or thirteen kids now? I don't even know what it is right now. Uh, but it's, she, it's more than what she, it used to be. She started. She stopped driving bus when I started getting sick. Mm. So. But anyway, no, the kids are really down, but the tuition, tuition in Gorm, we made a mistake a few years ago. Mm -hmm. We joined that co-op. Mm -hmm. To me, it was a mistake, but in, and it only went in by one vote. That's very tight. And we're paying real high tuition. Mm -hmm. Gorham wants to be the boss and they want the school.
Ooh, and Gorham. Mm. Um, I think it's getting more feasible all the time mm. to join Berlin. Mm. Berlin is kind of hurting on education and yeah. Yeah. they closed one school last year because of money. Well, if they had what we're paying Gorham and what it cost Gorham and what it cost Sheldon, helping them and helping us at the same time, mm -hmm. I think it would have been a, would be a good mm -hmm. move. And I think we're gonna have to see it happen someday. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, it's not enough kids and too much, too, the tuition too high. Have the, relationships with the summer community changed in the last, well, we're really looking at the last 50 years, but um, I mean, okay. it seems to me, again, we're low on population and we're low on children who are in, in the town and learning about the forest and climbing and all of that. I don't know. We, uh, we've always been a little bit out of the loop, mm -hmm. us personally, because <laughs> yeah. I, I most generally worked. I, I worked for now all the friggin' all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nights and weekends and, and yeah, when you can't really say, well, geez, I'd like to take you out for supper tonight. Yeah. Well, Something might come up, and I got to work. Well. <laughs> anyway, you've had a long relationship with the Cross family. Uh, yes, I've worked for her quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have any stories about <laughs> interactions with? <laughs> With him? With, with, with him and with, with with the family. No, I always, he'd tell me what he wanted done and I'd do the best I could. And we always seemed to have a pretty good working relationship. When I first started, he, he had a full-time caretaker there uh -huh. that used to trim around the stone walls. Yeah. Which, Jesus, it, it made it look so nice, you know. <laughs> But after he passed, the rest of the family didn't seem to want to trim around the stone walls. <laughs> well, go for the expense of it. I yep. well, expense probably was no problem either. But they never, they don't do it. Yep. And of course, the old stone walls are getting old. And every year you get a, another rock that falls mm -hmm. out somewhere. Mm -hmm. It would cost a arm and a leg to rebuild them, yes. rebuild the stone wall now. But no, I had a real good working relationship with all the crosses so far. Linda was the next one I kind of took orders from, and yeah. now it's passed down to, well, I guess it's going to be Chris. I, I would think so. I yeah. think. Yeah. In fact, I just tried to call him and no answer. Down the big city. Mm. I'm running out of questions. All right, I have one. <laughs> um, Avi, uh, can you talk about what you love about Randolph? Uh, pretty quiet down. Not too much crime down here. For a spell, we had a few house break-ins, but I, I'm blaming it on the prisons in Berlin. I think we had some 
lot of prison families that moved into Berlin that uh, might have been a little, little low on cash, and they, I think, came over here to Randolph looking for cash. I don't know, or something of value. No, it's a pretty good little town. It was nice to raise the family. It was good here, quiet. You know, Route 2 was right there, but we didn't, the noise didn't bother us as bad here as it does down there. Mm -hmm. Now up here, they were going 35, 40 miles an hour. Yeah. But down there, they're going 70, and them damn big truck tires make a lot of noise. Yeah. Well, they, they don't actually have to be a big truck. <laughs> we just we was just sitting out there in a pickup truck. They have these knobby tires that can go in mud, and they make a hell of a noise <laughs> <laughs> on the highway. And when we um, get to the town's 250th, probably none of us will be around. But uh, what do you hope for the town? you know, in the next 50 years. Slow to moderate growth for our town. This year, I think we, uh, this very year, from what I understand, there's going to be three new places built, at least, which is, I think, good. One of them, I understand, is going to be a uh, summer, uh, you know, short time visits up yeah. here. Yeah, the one. Yams. On yeah. my side yams. of the road, and yeah. then the yeah. yams, I don't know. That must be just a summer cottage. No, I think it's, it's I mean, the new, the, their new place. Yeah. I am sure it's year round. I think so. I, mean, yeah. I don't oh, know if they're planning it's a to, heck of a driveway. But. That is, I mean, Looking down at it from above, it's just blitzed the landscape. Oh, really? Yeah. But I, I assume it'll grow back at some Does point. Does it look, look quite a ways up in the forest? Well, yeah, it, and, and and the house is good size also. Oh, wow. Well, we haven't tried to... We usually walk on the pipeline. We've been yeah. up to the pipeline. And... Uh, from there, we couldn't pick it out mm -hmm. really good because it was the trees. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I know I've driven up there a couple of times and yeah. it's quite a steep driveway. And then there's another house down, down, the, where is it, up there or down there? Well, there's one, to, another one right down here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had, that used to be my lamb. Dr. Garcia, mm -hmm. he was living on Randolph Hill in a rented property and they wanted their property back. So he was on the verge of leaving town. And I really liked Dr. Garcia. I thought he was a whole nice guy and mm -hmm. wanted to keep him in town if I could. And he approached me and I said, yeah, I'll I'll sell you four acres down there. Mm -hmm. Well, he held on to it while he bought it. And then he went up to Bowman and bought, bought that place. Bought uh, Daigle's big yeah. 10, 12 acre yeah. piece of land, which is more to his <laughs> caliber of life. <laughs> and really built that place up real nice. And he held on to this place. And then he offered to sell it back to me because he had a chance to sell it. And I said, Jesus, I know you can get more money from it from them mm -hmm. than you can from me because uh, I had enough land anyway. So anyway, he sold it to these people and these people used to just come up and tent out on the ground there. And now they're going to build a, well, they're going to move in a modular home. Mm -hmm what it is so but 
every new house is a little more tax money for the town. Well, you know that Susie and Mark have bought the Garcia oh, place. That's what Susie told uh, yeah, yeah. told Judy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I, yeah. uh, We've been yeah. welcoming them to the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we took a ride up around there the other day. I know it's a private drive, but I wanted to see how well kept up that place was because Garcia had it. He used to have a, a henchman come in to help help around there yep. quite a bit. And, and then Doug Mayer, he's going to build a new house. Where is his property? On Boothman Lane. On Boothman Lane, okay. Right beside uh, Avery Post. Oh. This side. This side. Yeah. yeah. Got a nice lot there. I think it's yeah. a, I think it's a nice dry lot there. Yeah. If we can get him out of the Alps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it over there. Huh? He's he's been having a grand time. Yeah. 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 Bobby, one thing I've always noticed about you is that um, you you're very kind to everyone, and um, and you you seem to really like people, and so I just wanted to ask you if that is true that you just seem to like everyone. Probably that's why I'm so goddamn poor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, man. Oh, there it came. Yeah. Live, <laughs> live and let live. Well, I know that your kindness uh, meant a lot to my father when he worked with you quite frequently. He always had such a positive view of you as a human being yeah, that yeah. you were very kind and thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, I don't know if it pays or not. I am. <laughs> yes, he has people everywhere. We never go anywhere but is it somebody there but, he knows. Uh, <laughs> what gets me nowadays with losing a little bit of memory, people will stop or they'll call me and say hi or I have no idea who the heck they are. <laughs> Boy, that bugs me. <laughs> She says, we'll go 10 feet, and I'll ask her, I said, who the heck is that? Who the heck is that? <laughs> Holy. Not... But it's somebody that I won't even know either, because <laughs> he, he's always gone, so I don't know all his friends. <laughs> Avi, have you had a lot of wildlife in the, in the backyard over the years? Used to have quite a bit, uh, Sarah. We... Well, we've got we've got a picture in here of a mother bear and three cubs mm. right here on the back lawn. That wasn't too long ago. No, no, no. no. that was just a few years ago. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, oh, we used to, a couple of moose running up through. That was you know that weren't yeah. common, common, but it was you know you used to see it now and then. And a little more yeah. moose around. A deer now and then. And most generally, a few times in the fall, you see a fox. I don't know if it's one fox. Or I think it is. Yeah. Do you hear? Us. Do you hear coyotes? Oh yeah, we hear them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hear them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There, Al, yeah. Al was saying we had a real concert last night, which I slept through. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And every once in a while, you hear the bear calling, but you don't. Yeah. 